Here we have a beginner's guide to trading Forex. I'm gonna try my very best to keep this under 10 minutes so that it's straightforward and simple to follow. So first up, actually learn how to trade. I know that sounds like an obvious point of view and that's what I'm saying in this entire video, but bear with me. So actually invest in yourself and learn a strategy or style that's gonna help you build that foundation in terms of Forex. So, you know, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of good courses, a lot of good communities out there that provide a great foundation for you to learn and develop as a trader, you know, months and months of work, and then it's gonna build you into the asset, which is what you want. So how you go about that personally, in my point of view, is to actually connect with a lot of the traders from that course or community and just see how, you know, message them in Instagram, drop them a message on Facebook, whatever it takes, just get to know their experience with that course, their experience with that community, you know, you're gonna likely see people on social media being that course, or that community, you're gonna see it quite often. Another another thing you can do is actually check out the reviews. What are the reviews like? You know, what is their mentorship program like? What is their videos like? The quality of the content, the style, the strategy, does it work? Have they got results? Like there's so many questions you can ask, but just get an overall point of view of that person or those people. That's gonna help you quickly identify what is good, what is maybe not so good, and give you a, an ideal path to go to and try. And worst case scenario, you go in, you try it, you don't like it, you come out. Best case scenario, you go in, you learn, you develop the style, and you know, over time you become consistent. There's no, it's not too difficult of a, of a decision in my opinion. Next up we have number two, which is to find a good broker. Now you'd be surprised how many people don't find a good broker. They click on the latest YouTube ad, direct them to the side, you know, then later down the line they do some research, it's got one star out of five on Trustpilot, like you don't wanna be doing that. But at the same time, there's a lot of good brokers out there. You just need to do your research. I'm talking basic research. Go on Trustpilot. How many reviews do they have? You know, if they have one star out of five, do you really need me telling you what to do next? If they have 4.5 out of five, you know, it's very good. So just do your basic research. Look on Trustpilot, look at all these different review sites and just get a basic understanding of what that broker is like and their feed and the customer feedback with that broker as well. Then you can dive a little bit deeper and go, okay, well, what's the overall customer feedback? Is it a great customer feedback? Is there some downsides to it? How long do they take to respond to messages? If I needed something, for example, I'm in the live trade and something happens that's not supposed to, how, how long is it gonna take, quickly take to get on the phone to the broker? Like, figure out their customer support and figure out people's feedback on that. Another one is, okay, what type of broker are they? Are they an ECM broker or are they a market maker broker? How are their spreads? What Do they have high spreads or do they have quite low spreads, which is good for you? How long on average is it gonna take you to withdraw profits, to withdraw money from the account? How long is it gonna take you to deposit capital into the account? All these common questions that you know a lot of people fail to understand, just, just do some basic research. You'll probably figure out in the comments of the feedback or the reviews. So just do the basic research, spend an hour, two hours, just get to know the broker a little bit more, and then you can make an informed better decision based off that. Next up, open up a demo account. Now this is just a practice, so you wanna be getting involved in the process as much as possible. Take trades, manage trades, exit trades, see the overall process, get used to the platform. How do I place trades? How do I calculate lot sizes? All this kind of stuff, it's very basic stuff, but you wanna get used to the overall process and how to do it, so that when it comes to trading live, you can just execute flawlessly. So as you're learning how to trade, you will have a style or a strategy that you can execute on that demo account and just practice. Honestly, just gain experience, practice, take trades, practice over and over and over again until you're repeating that process and it's very simple and subconscious to you. One thing I'll say on this, which is very, very important, do not take this point lightly, is to treat the demo account as if it's live capital. Now, this is very easy to talk the talk and not walk the walk with this. A lot of people like to think that they treat it like live capital, but actually when you look at their accounts and the way they're trading, they're not treated like live capital. So how do you do that? You know, if you're if you plan on trading live with a thousand dollars or a thousand pounds, wouldn't it be smart to go into your demo account trading that exact figure? You know, do you really want to be tr chucking a hundred k or a million there in your virtual demo fake account? No, you don't. You want to be going in with the, with the same funds that you're treating live so that you can get your mind used to trading that capital. You know, it's, it's a very obvious but smart move to get your mind adjusted to trading live funds. 
But overall, what the demo account is going to allow you to do is just take trades, just take as many trades as the style represents, but you're not risking your own capital to do so. You're gaining experience, you're seeing how the strategy performs, you're gaining confidence under your belt. It's a very good thing to be able to do to practice before you actually gain life. Just to add my own opinion on this too, I would personally not stay on demo too long. Like there's a sweet spot, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't be staying on it for, you know, six, 12 months. Like stay on it for a few months, learn the strategy, gain confidence before then going in live. But to stay on it for six, 12, 18 months is way too long in my opinion. People are gonna have different perspectives, but in my personal opinion, that is way too long because you're gonna to be too attached to that virtual motion of, you know, trading almost becomes very simple on virtual money in terms of you just literally take your trades. You don't care how it performs versus like capital if it's your own funds, no matter how much that is, whether it's 1,000 pounds, whether it's 10,000 pounds, whatever it is, it's your own capital at risk and therefore there's different emotions involved. So when you do make that step into live trading, there's gonna be a lot more fluctuation in emotions if you stay on demo for too long. Moving on to point number four now, which is to open up a live account. Now, what I will, will say with this is that you don't need to be going in with too much money or too little money. What I would personally say in my opinion, based on experience, is as long as you're going in with the right amount of capital for you, and what do I mean by that? Well, I mean, as long as you can treat trading like a business and honestly say that, then that's the right amount of capital for you, whether that's 10K, whether that's 1K, whether that's 500 pounds, as long as you treat that like a business, seriously, and don't gamble with the money, that's the biggest point I would say for you personally. The reason I say this is the amount of questions I get on Instagram, the amount of questions I get on YouTube, of people wanting to start an account with $10 or $100. But the problem is, how many of those people are actually risking 1% or very low capital with that? You know, I can imagine these people risking 10, 20, 30, 40, 50% of their account on every single trade, trying to scale that capital quick. It's not the way to go. So they're not treating it like a business. They're not treating it seriously because they're gambling with the money and trying to flip it very quickly. Whereas, like I said, if you have 500 pounds, 1,000 pounds, 10K, whatever it is, as long as you treat that like a business, that is the biggest single step, in my personal opinion, that I will say. In terms of actually execution of the trades, you have a couple of choices. So you have the broker's platform. Every single, well, most brokers will have their own platform that you can use to trade. Or you can use something like MT4 or MT5, which stands for MetaTrader 4 or 5. So this is a very help helpful platform. I used to use my broker's platform in the past, but now I use MT4. It's very useful, very easy to calculate, you know, the exact risk, everything you need. The only thing that I would add on to that is an app called Stinu. So I'll put that on the screen right now for you to see. It's a very simple, app it allows you to calculate lot sizes according to your risk according to your capital base and it allows you to do it very quickly within two three four five minutes so especially when you're day trading like me it helps to add those you know three four five minutes it helps to speed that process up as quick as possible so hopefully that helps and that's uh, it's a very good app in terms of analysis of trades this is where i use trading view so trading view is high quality it's very cheap prices and for what you get for the price it's literally a bargain like you get so much value for the price it's literally what i've got on the screen behind me trading view platform it's very simple you can customize it how you like it and i always recommend it so i'll leave that down in the description box below if you want to check it out next up we have simply just trade like literally just trade you've learned the strategy now you've learned the style or at least learning the style you've had experience in demo, you've taken trades before, you know the entire process, you're getting to grips with things, you've already had that momentum behind you, just literally follow the same process, just continue doing what you're doing. The one thing that I'll add to that is, which I touched on before, is risk. Make sure, in my opinion, keep your risk minimal, like as minimal as possible, especially in the early stages, that is the key. I personally might, well, I went in risking 1% of capital, but even looking back, especially in those learning times where you're taking losses and break even here and there, I would honestly drop my risk to 0.25 or below, like literally. There's no, here's where people get mixed up. People want to risk two, three, four, five, ten percent 10% of the capital to scale quickly, but they're trying to fluke it. They're trying to catch that one trade that's going to bank them 10, 20, 30%, but it's the wrong mentality. Wouldn't you rather have wins of three, four, five percent 5% consistently with a larger stop, with a tight, risk management and then build up consistently 
versus one win. It's like the lottery mindset. Don't get into that mindset. Please do not get into that mindset because I guarantee, or I can almost guarantee, you'll be one of those people that just blows your account and just, you know, is there just going back to the same start over and over and over again. And worst case scenario, you, you're, you lose your capital and then, you know, you don't have the funds to start again or you're wondering whether you should even start again. So you're just almost halting your prog progression if you do that. So make sure that you risk minimal amount. Like I said, 0 0.25, I, I'd happily risk 0 0.25 or below. Start with 0 0.1, you have to take, you'd have to take 10 losses to, to even equate to 1% of your account. Think about how powerful that is. Like you, you are probably not going to blow your account that way. Let's put it that way. Why? Because you have so much margin for error that way. You would literally have to take so many losses to blow your entire account. So start off small, build up consistently, and I promise you that will build a good foundation. But hopefully this video was helpful for you. Hopefully you enjoyed it and take something away from exactly what I was saying before. Make sure to smash that like button, share your thoughts, opinions down below, and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next video. See you soon.